Hi everybody, it is Sunday. It is time to set up another week in my bullet journal. Well, it's time for me to set up my week. You might be setting up your own or doing your own weekly planning. But yes, it's the last week of March, first week of April, and I'm gonna be setting it up in the April part of my bullet journal because I really wanna start with the new colors and everything else. Um, I would like to say hi to everybody who is here. Hello, everybody in the comments. Let me know that you're hearing me okay. And if you are here for the replay, I am happy that you're here as well. What's up? <laughs> I am going to be doing a new weekly layout. I really enjoyed the past month's layout with the time tracking, but I'm not going to be really time tracking this next month. I actually needed sort of a different style of layout, which I'll talk about in a hot minute. Oh, good. You guys can hear me. Hello, everybody. Hello, the chat, blah, blah, blah. Um, but the new layout that I am going to be using is inspired, very loosely inspired, but it is inspired by uh, a creator on Instagram named Char Dangerfield Art. She has some layouts that are, it's like she has events in one, and she's not the only one who does this, but hers was the one where I could actually wrap my mind around it. She has some events in one section and then she has separate to-do lists for work, personal and other things. And so I'm gonna kind of adapt that situation this particular week and see if that works for an April situation. How many times can I say situation in one video? Am I right? So, ooh, hi Romy, I haven't seen you in a while. So my, I'll show you. So this last layout that I've done, that's basically been my whole April and I've really enjoyed it has had this time tracking situation and I'm gonna hang on to this method because I really liked it. But in April, I'm actually gonna be much more focused rather than on batching my time. I mean, I'm gonna be focusing on that as well, but what I'm really gonna be trying to focus on is um, just knocking out big lists of things to do. I'm not going to be quite as scheduled with meetings this month because of the trips and things that we have to go on for the move. And I need to really focus on, Jess and I have to focus on getting this house staged and ready to sell. So what I'm going to do is have a work and a personal to-do list, two separate to-do lists that are both done with the Alistair method. And then I'm going to have a column that has the specific things on specific days, but it's not going to be like just stuff I want to get done on that day. But like I have a deadline on Tuesday and I have a phone call on Wednesday and those things like very, very t time specific. So it's going to distill down like the use. My Alistair method list is going to be very extensive and my daily lists are going to be much smaller so that I can really juggle tasks based on what needs to get done that day or what I have time for. Because there's a lot that has to happen this week. All right. I'm so glad you guys like the ranunculus. Um, this is so pretty. If you have not watched this, the, I'm, I mean, like talking like, oh, look how beautiful this is. I made this, so whatever. But like, if you have not watched the April setup yet, 10 out of 10 recommend. And I'm really excited to start filling the steps tracker. And I should keep covering this up because it has all of like my flight and hotel info on it. Maybe I shouldn't be showing that. Okay, anyway, <laughs> so... Um, have houses been sold fast in Napa? Yeah, it's they've been selling fast. We're not too worried about that, especially because of the um, the price point our house is going to be at is not one that's popping up on the market very often. So people are going to want it, from what I understand. Anyway, you love the book declutter videos. So that's actually something I'm going to do this week. So I have a vlog going up this week that was just one day. It was the day I got my vaccine because I thought that that would be an interesting day to vlog. But this week, what I'm going to do is every day, Monday through Thursday, I'm only going to vlog the decluttering that I'm doing because I'm trying to get through the end of the house. And there's a lot of like little spots like closets and nightstands and things like that that need to get taken care of. So I'm going to take you guys along with me for that process. That's the plan. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, so I kind of mapped this out. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to start with my events situation here. I'm giving myself 12 across and I think six down. So I'm not giving myself a shit ton of space, but it should be enough space. And what I'm going to do is kind of stick to this, like this, where is it? Like the like dashed line that I was doing. I think, because I want to keep it. I love like the clean look of this and I love the clean look of these layouts. So I'm going to try and, and 
kind of stick with that. Ooh, taxes, Lily. Yeah, I got to pay quarterly taxes this month. I did already file my taxes, though. So proud. I'm going to keep bringing that up because that never happens. So. All right. What did I do? Did I do the serif font? What was I doing in April? I don't even fucking remember, you guys. I think it was a serif style. Yeah. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll put like a little M. And I'm using a 0.3 micron i found i didn't find it i actually just bought a new one but yes i love 0.3 microns and i could not find mine and then so that day is gonna what day is that i don't even know what day fucking you guys i have no idea what's going on with my life right now okay the 29th that's what it is 3 29 and then what i'm gonna do is just do the dashed line And so that's the way I'm going to do my like little header for each day. And so then this next one is going to be Tuesday. I'm just trying to keep them small enough to not take up too much room because I'm not giving myself a lot of room to begin with. So I need to like be conservative with my room here. All right. I like that though. I think that's cute. And I'll add a little color to it maybe. Okay, so that's a good question. Ooh, you did your taxes today, Jane? Woohoo! Hi from Sydney, Sandra. How's my kitty man? How's your MRI? I've got a lot of questions to answer. Okay, I guess we'll start. I will get to your question. Um, CLD, I know, Lisbeth, yes. I will get to your question in a hot minute, but I will get the medical ones first. So the cat, Loki, if you've been following me on Instagram, then you know that we took the cats in for their, um, like to get caught up on their shots and like their checkups. And we were going to have Loki, we had to get Loki blood work because he was going to be going under anesthesia to get a cyst removed, like just a benign cyst and, um, and get some pretty, like some really deep cleaning done on his teeth, which he needs. And so they wanted to do blood work to make sure he was healthy. And the blood work showed that he has low kidney function, which I'm sure you can imagine is both terrifying to hear as a cat owner, but also to hear as a cat owner who themselves also has low kidney function. <laughs> so it's had me very much in my head. So they, the vet was a little concerned aside from the fact that it's low kidney function because Loki is 10 and they don't usually see kidney function that low in cats until they're like 16 or 17 so they wanted to repeat the tests which they did and they showed the same thing so they repeated some labs on him and took his kidney blood pressure and we will hear back about those things um next week so we'll know how he's doing but he seems fine like he's he's just trucking right along like but i know cats are stoic so i'm in my head about that both because i love that kitty man but also because I myself know what it feels like to be like his kidneys would be basically the equivalent according to this test of where my kidneys are. So you can imagine how much that's putting me in my head right now. All right. As for me, my MRI was scheduled for Friday, but as we were getting out of Napa, because I have to go to an, the couple towns over to get it done, uh, they called me and rescheduled. And thankfully we had not gotten far enough for it to really suck yet. So we turned around and came home. I had it yesterday. I was in the machine for 45 minutes. Goddamn sucked. But I do not know the results yet. I will likely know those next week as well. They had to look at some arteries and blood vessels in my neck because I get, <coughs> sorry, I get screened for MRIs. I mean, I get screened with an MRI every few years. Um, aneurysm, brainstem aneurysms are somewhat, um, I kind of want to end this as well with just a line. Let's just do that. So brainstem aneurysms are common. They are not uncommon in PKD patients. My dad actually died from one when he was 40. And so my sister and I get screened for it every couple of years. And in my last screening, uh, my kidney doctor saw something that concerned him. The, the neurologist, the thing that my kidney doctor was concerned about was not concerning according to the neurologist, but the neurologist saw something else in my neck, a narrowing of some blood vessels or something. So that's what they're looking at right now. So I don't have the answers to that yet. I like this. This is going to be cute. I think my little events situation. 
So how in the world do you do kitty blood pressure? That's what we wanted to know. Apparently they shaved one of his back legs, like a little section and put like a sensor or something there. And then Jesse said they also told him that they used a blood pressure cuff. Is that right, Jess? Yeah. But he wasn't in there because of COVID. He had to send both, both appointments. The cats had to get sent in with the vet techs and we had to stay in the car. And then Jesse took him on Friday and he had to stay in the car. But yeah, so they put a sensor on the back of his leg and then did some blood pressure situation on him. I have no idea. I, I don't understand. So they don't know what it is yet, Mod. So we're going to find out. Um, we're going to find out what's going on. And my, what my kidney doctor wants to know is what's going on in the blood vessel in my neck. And is it something that they need to do something about? And if so, does it need to be done now? Or can it wait till we move to Denver? And would he send the information over to my new nephrologist there tied up in a little bow? So as soon as I get there, we can schedule it. So that's what we're trying to figure out. We don't know yet. I'll let you know when I know. Um, so yes, so there's that. And then... The next question was from Elizabeth and they asked about how it's going to work with the kids. So we're still working out the custody and I will talk more about this in later videos when it, it feels right to talk more about it. But the way it's going to work this summer, from what I understand, the kids are going to spend the majority of their summer with their dad. Um, there's going to be a week where they're going to come to see us and like be with us in Denver because their dad needs to have them with us for that week because of some other trip he has to do for work. But they're going to spend the majority of the summer with their dad. And then um, they will, a couple weeks before school starts, they will officially move to the house. So when we move into the new house, when we find the new house in Denver, it's just going to be Jesse and I for a while settling into it and getting all the stuff moved in. Uh, the kids will move in later once they once the summer so because they're going to need some summer they're not going to be with their dad for the majority of the school year except for vacations so they're going to spend the summer with him did i take my potassium i did not jesse when you're done with what you're doing can you get me my potassium <laughs> thank you <laughs> thanks amy <laughs> do you need me to set an alarm for you i have an alarm it's just i'm usually Sorry, in the middle rephrase that do you need me to set an alarm for me <laughs> No, my, my, I'm good at it when I'm not live streaming. And that's why people in my comments every time ask me because it's always something like it's the potassium. I take it at two every day and I'm in the middle of streams when I'm, when it's, when it's time. So this is, it's a necessary question. So thank you, Amy. I made a good adjustment to my own medication schedule this week. I've been taking my meds at 10 a.m. But I have meetings that start at 10 a.m., so I moved it to 9.50. Nice. All right. Potassium is down the gullet. Okay. So these are, this is going to be the events, and I will fill those in in a minute. I made myself a little map because I was trying. Last time I mapped everything out, I forgot what I did. <laughs> so I think what I was going to do for blood pressure was I gave myself another spot here. Maybe I'll just continue it outwards for weather and for blood pressure. And then All right. So that's what I did. And then what I want to do here is Hmm. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, this is where weather and blood pressure are going to go for each day. I think this is what I decided to do. I don't remember. I made this plan yesterday, and I tried to write things down, but I had a long day yesterday. I was in the MRI for 45 minutes which I keep saying, but that's because it fucking sucked, yo. <sighs> you love, Molly says, you love watching my plan with me live or on the replay while you're working on your own things because it helps with your ADHD to feel like you're working with someone. I love that. Maybe you can treat it like a second honeymoon. Fun fact, we haven't had a first honeymoon yet. We've been married for almost seven years. <laughs> 
So maybe that's it, Jess. Our time together in Denver for the summer while we're getting the house settled in. Be our, our honeymoon. Mm. <laughs> All right. And so meal plan. I'm not really sure what I was playing. I have marks here for a whole... Oh, hi, Mark. I have a whole bunch of marks here, but I don't know what they're for. Huh. All right. Well... We'll use this for meals. Meals, okay, that'll work for now. I'm looking at the comments here. Ooh, 20, you decluttered? Good time, Stephanie. I got to still work on that. Jesse made a dump run this morning and I need to get the books picked up for donations this week. Another hot mess plan with me or stickers soon? I'm not sure yet, Jessica. It all depends. The problem with the hot mess, if I was going to do a hot mess plan with me, it might be in a planner that's not my bullet journal because I really need my planner. And when I do a hot mess plan with me, it's a crapshoot as to whether or not my planner is like usable. <laughs> so there is that. All right. So let's draw in my Alistair method for work. And most of my stickers are packed up. I'm pretty sure like 90% of my stickers are packed up right now. It'll probably be an excellent time to do hot mess plan with me once we've moved and my kids are still with their dad and we're just unpacking the house and shit like that. I would guess that that like June or July, I might be able to do a couple of hot mess plan with me's. Did Jesse do his books yet? He did, Lisa. He did not get rid of very many of them, which I wasn't expecting. He doesn't have very many of them. So they're done. And now I can finish up and get the donations picked up for the books. All right. So there's the two Alistair Method task list, list last list. Uh, Maude, we're going to donate. We have some stuff from the house we're going to donate to Habitat Restore. The books we can get picked up by a local organization. There's a couple of them, and we just need to schedule and see which one is available at the time. Ooh, hi, Chrissy. I'm looking at this here just to... Do you have an idea of where? Yeah, we're looking in a specific area where we want the, uh, we like the school district and the houses, the prices are where we want them to be for the house that you get. Um, and it's close to where the office is hopefully going to be. So there, and it's close to where the transplant center I'm likely going to be going to is. So it's, it's, there's a lot there that, um, that is good work. Now, I hope I don't regret this, that I like leave myself enough space. If this becomes a problem, you'll hear about it in next week's plan with me. So we shall see work and then personal. And I have a lot of both this week, a lot of both. Let's just say, and I actually made a list. So I'll put a bunch of those things on there on this stream. So you can kind of see how it's being divided up. All right, work and personal. Oh, my eye itches. Medical supplies, mod. Oh man, we, 
we had to figure that out but it was years and years and years ago and i don't remember how we did it because jesse had a bunch of old supplies for a pump that was discontinued that he didn't have anymore i would call your local hospital and ask them about that they might be able to give you some some pointers i'm going backwards sunday saturday friday thursday wednesday tuesday monday sunday saturday friday thursday wednesday tuesday monday fuck yeah fuck yeah alistair method <sighs> okay so aaron I don't know what it is you're looking for. I actually have a planner review going up later this month for a planner that's kind of pricey, but I fucking love it. So I'm not going to spoil you because it's out of, you can't buy it yet anyway. They haven't released it for next year yet. I just happen to have a copy of it and I want to talk about it. So that's coming. So keep your eyes open. But um, it depends on what you're looking for, man. I know a lot of people have been really happy with plum paper planners. I just don't like their paper. It's too uh, silky. <laughs> for me is that a weird is it a weird thing to dislike because i really don't like it okay all righty okay so now i'm going to put in my events for the week i'm going to add some art some art maybe here and probably here or maybe just here and here i don't know yet i gotta think about that but while i'm thinking about that i'm going to put in my weather and my events for each day did you hear about ivory paper co i did i've heard and i got emails from a couple of you about it as well i just pulled my review down because um i didn't like i don't really know enough about what's going on to care but i just don't want i had a couple people say like i don't want to like, you know, you reviewed this planner two years ago and now this is what's going on. So I didn't want to have my review sending people to a planner company that is currently having a lot of issues. So I just janked the review down just for the, to be on the safe side. I'm drinking some iced tea. All right. So Monday's weather, it's going to be beautiful in Napa this week, by the way. Sunny. 73. 48. Tuesday will be sunny. 79, 48. It's supposed to get up into the 80s this week. I am so excited. 79, 48. Except I can already feel my allergies are starting to kick in, like... I've got that scratchy back of my throat and the like, the, what is it called? The drainage that you can feel. And my sneezing has ramped up. So I'm expecting my allergies to kick my ever loving ass this week. But the weather looks like it'll be worth it. As for getting my vaccine, I will tell you, like I didn't get any, I got, I was tired, but I have no idea. I had to drive over an hour each way to get the vaccine and driving takes it out of me so like when i drive for long periods and i'm sitting in one period like it hurts my kidneys and it just and i get so nauseated in general with my kidneys but then also i get super car sick so i tend to after any amount of driving i tend to not feel super great but so i don't know how much of that was that and how much of it was the vaccine but what was the vaccine was the fact that my arm felt like it had been run over by a truck it is only just now today what like three days later only slightly tender like it still hurts like a bruise in that area but at least i can lay on my arm because this is the i had to get it in my non-fistula arm because i can't get stuck in my fistula arm and so i can't sleep on my fistula side so and i can't sleep on my back without it hurting so i had to sleep on the side that hurt which just sucked my balls it was not a pleasant few nights okay so friday it's gonna get cloudy and 73 43 and then it's going to drop back to the 60s but it's going to be allegedly in the 80s this week and it's spring break here so for we don't have the kids the kids are with their dad but like it's spring break here so hopefully kids will be outside like having fun uh gorby is not packed up but he is on my 
don't know where he is. Did I pack him up? I gotta figure out where Gorby is. I love me some Gorby, and Gorby is not going anywhere except to Denver, but... I'm so all over the place right now that Gorby is... Like, low on my... Low on my priority list. My Gore priority list. My Gorbority list? Question mark? 41. Okay, so there's the weather for the week. <clears throat> Yay, vaccine appointments. Woohoohoo! Yeah, my I will get my first my second shot a week before we go on our Denver trip, so I won't be fully fully back like it won't be fully effective, but it'll be a lot of the way there and I'll feel and Jesse will be fully done. His next vaccine shot isn't in a week, I think, so he'll be definitely fully vaccinated by the time we go, which makes me feel a little bit better. I don't like that we have to travel. I don't like that we're going to go on an airplane or stay in a hotel. I don't like this. I really dislike the fact that we're taking this trip. It bothers the shit out of me, but I cannot, I cannot buy a house or put an offer in on a house without having walked through it. And if we can't put an offer in that weekend, if we have to get our realtor to go through and like, like go through it with a FaceTime for us, if that's what winds up having to happen because we can't get one that like get offers in that weekend, then we'll do that. But at least we'll have met our realtor in person, a realtor in person. And at least we'll have been to the area before we like go into debt to live there. Like it's just, it it's necessary. I'm looking. Oh, a lot of you guys are getting vaccinated. Yeah, I got Pfizer. My vaccine was Pfizer. So was Jesse's, I'm pretty sure. I was glancing through the comments. Um, yeah, no, we're doing we're doing everything that we possibly can to be safe on this trip because I am not thrilled. I like Jess and I are both super skeeved out that we're having to make it, but we're being relocated during a pandemic. So there's just like we signed on the line for the relocation without going to Denver when Jesse originally was not willing to do that until we had been there and he knew that he liked the vibe of the place. But I convinced him that we have done as much research as we can and that trip fr felt frivolous, but this one feels much more necessary. Like... Seriously. <sighs> um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm very, very glad to have gotten my first dose of the vaccine. It was like a fucking party. You guys, it was a fucking party. Everybody was in a good mood. Oh my God. It's the closest to a thing to a party I've been to in over a year. Oh, so great. All right. So Cat has a phone call. I, I don't have the kids this week, but because this is a reschedule from when Cat missed one, I want to make sure to give them a text to remind them. I have a call at noon. And I need to post challenges that day and imperfect foods okay that's monday tuesday i have a deadline for a freelance project um i have a patreon live And I have a video go live that day, so I need to make sure to be in the comments for it. Why am I moving, Joyce asked? Jesse's getting relocated for work. You know, Jeanette, that's actually what it felt like. It felt like I got a flu shot. My arm, it, except it was more like the like most intense flu shot I've ever gotten. Usually when I get a flu shot, it hurts for about a day, but it hurts within the first like couple of hours. With the Pfizer vaccine, it hurt. It didn't start really hurting 
until bedtime. Like it actually woke me up in the middle of the night with pain. So it didn't start hurting for like eight or nine hours, but it hurt for like three days. So very similar pain, just more intense. I usually get like dead arm from flu shots. Like, so Wednesday I have a call at 10. I have a call at noon. And that's all I've got on that day in terms of appointments. Thursday, I have a video going live, so I need to be in the comments for that. Um, and I need to move money for payday. Friday, I have a call at two. And I don't know if I'm getting the kids back that day or not. There was some question about how we're juggling custody for the trip in this month. So I have no idea if I'm picking the kids up on Friday yet or not. Jesse uh, works in marketing for a wine company. Yeah, I was able to get mine. So California originally opened it up at the beginning of, uh, or mid-March for a very select group of high-risk people between 16 and 49. I'm 41. Um, I fell into that high-risk group as somebody with chronic kidney disease stage four or worse. I'm in like late stage four of kidney disease. So I qualify for that, but I have friends who were in other high-risk categories for the CDC that California was not opening up for, but then, um, the medical group I'm with Kaiser and Kaiser decided to open it up for the CDC guidelines of high risk groups, 16 to 49. So I know other people who are now able to get that, um, get their appointments for vaccines. So, yeah. I'm just checking everything. Hi, Jonathan. Yeah, I'm expecting to just take the day off after I get the vaccine, just in case. I did that yesterday as well, or Friday. I had done all of my work for the week. I still got some things done on Friday, but I set it up so that I didn't have to get things done on Friday. So Saturday is washing my sheets, and that's my only Saturday appointment so far. My appointment with myself. Wash sheets. Hopefully we do get the kids back this weekend, though, because Godzilla vs. Kong is going to be on HBO Max, and we are not going to watch it till RJ's here because RJ fucking loves movies like that, but so do we. So we, it's coming out on the 31st, and we already have to wait a couple days. If we have to wait until the following week, I'm going to be a sad panda, but I also am fine with that, too, if it needs to be. Um, and then Sunday is Easter, but we don't really celebrate Easter in this house, so that is not huge for us, but we do have a patron hangout. I do, not we, me, and a live plan with me, where I'm hoping this week to get the brainstorming done for my Goodbye California memory keeping spread. My goal is, is next prep plan with me is to set up a spread with like spaces for pictures and all of the things that we want to go and get pictures of and whatever before we leave California. So that's my thing. And I'm already starting to think this may not be enough room for some of these days. We shall see. So for my work list, let me make that really quick. Let me add some meals in here too. Grilled cheese, which is, you have no idea. Jesse makes the bombest ass motherfucking grilled cheese. Dinner salads. Where he grills chicken and we have it with spring mix and you know, avocado and I don't have the avocado because I think it's nasty and carrots and whatever vegetables we have in the fridge. Oh my God. And then he makes enough chicken for like lunches for the next few days. So it's great. We haven't been doing it when the kids are here because the kids got sick of it, but I love it. It's one of the few things that calms my nausea down. Baked Parmesan pork chops with potatoes and other shit, but, um, and then we're doing steaks. And that's what I've got so far for my meals for this week. Does he use Gouda? No, he uses fresh mozzarella. 
Num, 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 num. Um. Where are we at here? I just saw a question I wanted to answer. Does Kay have any, does Kat have any favorite films? Uh, Kat prefers anime. I don't know what movies Kat prefers. Kat, Kat prefers anime. Kat does not like horror movies or big action movies. Although Kat watched Get Out with their friends. One of their friends had to watch it for school and Kat watched it with them in like one of those group watching things online and loved it. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not really sure what cat what movies cat likes cuz a lot of the stuff cat likes is like anime style stuff and I fall asleep when I watch anime so I couldn't fucking tell you what any of it is. All right. So, work module 4 on a course I'm taking and I'm going to just put a dot every single day for that so I can do a little bit each day. And then film edit blog I'm working on some bonus things for my patrons for when I'm out of town part of my goals for this month is to do a little bit every week so that I'm not trying to get shit finished when I'm also trying to move um, but freelance work I need to do this week Um, getting the reels up. I have to catch up on some Q and A's for a group I'm in. My analytics. This is not everything I have to do this week. This is just what I could pull from the top of my head and some bookkeeping has to get done this week. So there's some of my work task list for the week. And then yeah, Jesse's grilled cheese is on like sourdough bread with fresh mozzarella and lots of butter. And it is goddamn amazing. And making sure we find some good sourdough in Denver is going to be really important because all four of us in this house love the shit out of some sourdough. I think you might have to make it. Uh, you've never had grilled cheese? Oh my God. Grilled cheese is so good. There's so many ways. Like when I grew up, a grilled cheese was like white bread with is an American person in the Bay. Am I about to become somebody's very best friend? I do not know. Uh, oh, thank you, Devin. I appreciate that. I have no idea what I'm doing with reels. So there's that. So I'm going to put declutter up here because it's another thing I need to work on each day. So when you're doing the Alistair method, you can work on something each day. You can plan to work on something each day, but like these two tasks here, I want to get a little bit done every day. So I'm just already putting the dots in. There are other things on here that will likely get done over the course of a few days, but I like tracking it that way. Cause it kind of shows the progress of something. I think an appointment for cat. I need to call UCSF. Um, we need to wrap up RJ's room and Kat's room. Uh, write my meal plan. Grocery list. Need to gather my mortgage documents. So I give those to Jesse. It's a lot when you're like, there's a lot of things I have to get together for the pre-approval process as a self-employed person. We did not go through this the last time because I was brand new self-employed when we bought this house. And so Jesse was the only one on the loan, which very much kept us buying in our, in our price range because we didn't have my income to like beef up what we were qualified for. <laughs> I have to clean out the fridge. Pay the water bill and get the closet doors ordered. That's everything I have on my list so far for personal. So those are my two task lists thus far for the week. Oh my God. I'm just going through the comments here. So let me go, let me scroll up. Fried bologna sandwiches. Oh, that sounds both good and terrible at the same time. 
Lily, I'm curious about it too. I used to keep three separate task lists in my bullet journal. I kept a work task list, a personal task list, and a church task list when I was board president. And it worked for a while, but not when I was doing this method of task list. And the biggest reason I'm separating it is just to kind of keep my head around. And also it's kind of a, an addition to that idea of not wanting to cannibalize time I'm using for work with personal tasks and vice versa without the time tracking. I'm trying to see if I can, I did a really good job this last month with this time tracking of not cannibalizing my work time for house stuff while still getting things done. So now I'm going to try and do this without the time tracking to hold me accountable. So we'll see if this works. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know next week how it's going. Um, now what do we got here? Grilled cheese with a slice of tomato. Ooh, Jane's enjoying the reels too. Cheryl asks, will you have to adjust recipes for high altitude? I'm yes. assuming so. Yes, I have no idea how yet, but I guess we'll see. That's going to be an... be a hot mess bake with us. Yeah. <clears throat> Kat's been doing more baking than I have, so Kat's going to have to help figure that out too. But yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to have a bigger kitchen. So at least if I'm going to be a hot mess, it'll be in a kitchen that maybe is big enough to film in without feeling like I'm sitting on the camera. Um... Jesse uses butter on his grilled cheese sandwiches because I think mayonnaise is man jelly and I don't like it. I don't fucking like it. You cannot make me eat man jelly. Um, Katrina's from the Bay and if you've had grilled cheese on good sourdough, nothing else makes sense. Yes. 10 out of 10 right there. Um, I have never had Milanesa's Elizabeth, but I have had carne asada. That's my favorite thing to get in, uh, burritos and quesadillas uh, there's a mexican grocery store up valley that has like a kitchen in the back and they do these gigantic quesadillas with jack cheese and carne asada oh my god they're, can you describe the shape of them because i think quesadillas yeah they're like selling. yeah they're like they're like this thick and like this big on uh, like two different halves that are this big they're basically like a brick of food <laughs> um Oh, you want to see what a finished? Okay, so something on each day, Lily, is right here. Module three. I did it all, and then I finished it on Saturday. So you see how I've, like, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit here. So when I do work on something, I just do one slash through it when it's not done. When it gets finished, it gets the full X. So that is something I did a little bit every single day, and then yesterday I wrapped it up. Does that make sense? I hope so. I did not make this up, by the way. This is the Alistair method that Plant Based Bride adapted. And I, I give full credit. Um, the Starbucks grilled cheese is bombed as my kids both love it. My kids adore it. I prefer their ham and Swiss panini. It's the only thing I like with Swiss on it. Swiss to me is garbage cheese. But the ham and Swiss panini from, from Starbucks is really good. Cheddar and Havarti. I love, I used, my favorite way to make grilled cheeses is with Havarti cheese on sourdough. But Jesse does them with fresh mozzarella and oh, it's so good. I mostly do them with fresh mozzarella because of how much you love it. It's so Honestly, good. The Havarti option is just as good. The it, Havarti option isn't there's, as heavy there's such because. thing as a singular best grilled cheese. Like any art form, it's very simple. Am I going to add any flowers to the spread this week, Jane? Asked, yeah, that was actually what I was about to do. So what I'm going to do here is put week. What week is this anyway? I'm like numbering the weeks. I just don't want to fuck it up and then miss it. So week 12. So this is week 13. Week 13, do do. So yesterday, as I was relaxing after my 45 minute MRI, I sat and played old Nintendo games on the Switch, which by the way, is both discombobulating because I'm not used to the controller and um, frustrating because they have the Mario games and they have like the Zelda games, but they, I don't like how that looks. Do you want me to get you one of those 
wireless NES controllers that you can use with the Switch? No, what I want is an emulator that has um, the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles horrible game that I want to play and Battletoads and Bubble Bobble, but none of those are on there. And it makes me a sad panda. All right, if I figure that if out... If you figure that out, pause. I... Pause. If I figure that out for you to play on your iMac, will you live stream Cindy Plays Super Mario Brothers 1, 2, and 3? Yes, if it won't destroy my computer, because I wonder if that will take my computer down. Are you serious? <laughs> like... My calculator has more processing power than the original NES. I think your iMac can handle it. All right. What do I put on my artichokes? I don't eat artichokes. I think they're gross. So that answers that question. <laughs> my sisters love man jelly on artichokes, though. I think it's fucking nasty. And we don't have artichokes in this house because my ex-husband is, like, super allergic to thistles. And, oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, like when he was working at Trader Joe's, he got poked in the finger with an artichoke once when he was wringing it up and his hand swelled up. So we're worried that my kids might be allergic to them as well. So we, it's just my excuse though, because I think artichokes are gnarly. So no, thank you. Bubble Bobble's the fucking shit, Pamela. My sisters and I spent an entire summer obsessed with that game. All right, so let's make a couple of ranunculi. Ranunculus. Do, 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 do. I was so proud of myself for getting these down because flowers with lots of petals have been one of my nemesis nemeses over the years. There's one. Woohoo! Yeah, boy. What am I looking here? There's a there's a place in town called Melted here in Napa that makes different fancy grilled cheeses on savory waffles and then sprinkles Parmesan cheese on them and serves them with a tomato basil soup. It is fucking delicious. The one I get is the one with three cheeses, and the one that Jess and RJ get has steak on it and cheddar and I don't know what else. Nice, Jeanette. Ranunculus are so pretty. Like, when I was working the flower section at Trader Joe's, I was in charge of it for about a year. They were one of my favorites. They're, like, kind of like poppies, but with, like, brighter colors. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, they have a similar kind of shape to poppy, or not poppies, uh, peonies. They have a similar kind of, like, tightly packed shape to peonies that open up. They don't open up as big as peonies do, but they have a similar kind of look but they have such a vibrant color palette and I love it. They're so fucking pretty. All right, so there's a couple of those. Dip artichoke leaves in mayo and bite out the middle part. Um, no. <laughs> no, thank you. Mac and cheese on grilled cheese. God damn it, that sounds fucking amazing. You know where I want to go when restaurants open up in Denver? There's some in California, but I've never been, I never like have gotten around to going there. I want to go to, uh, Melting Pot because I love me some fondue. I love dipping things in warm juices. Yeah, boy. And I want that. All right, so there's those. And then I'm going to add some of I love, I wish I had thought about doing the leaves with no lines that I did here when I was doing the beginning of it because I really like these.
week 13. Do, 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 do. Grilled cheese with, uh, just grilled cheese in general is my favorite lunch. Shared melted cheese skeeves you out. See, Lisa, it would skeeve me out with random people, but with just Jesse and I, I'm used to his saliva. <laughs> RJ wouldn't do it, though. RJ is super grossed out. Like, if he takes the food off my plate when I'm, like, done eating because I get so full so fast, he'll make sure to not use my fork. I had him try something. I don't remember. I think I was having like granola with yogurt and I was like, you'll like this. And I gave him, he tried it off my spoon and he was like, I hope you know how terrifying and horrible it was for me to eat off of your spoon. So <laughs> I feel like I need to leave this blank because I feel like there might be something I need to add there in terms of space this week. So I'm not, maybe I'll add like a flower over here, but I feel like I'm not going to, I might add more art here throughout the week, but I think I need to leave that open in case I need the space since I'm, this is a new, super new, um, a super new layout for me. So I'll just do a, like a sideways ranunculus here. The key with ranunculus is also to remember that they have a super thick stem. Thick. How did I come up with my plant names? From Harold and Kumar. <laughs> Go to White Castle. Uh, Rolby is what he calls Harold, and I think that that's cute. So It actually started because I thought I would name one of the plants Harold, and Jesse's like, then you need to name the other one Kumar. So I realized... What I really wanted to do was name them Kumar and Roldy. <laughs> I'm hungry now too, Martha, and we had a big breakfast, so... Damn, he's <laughs> thick. All right. So I think this might be my spread for the week. Like I said, I'm going to leave this spot open in case I need it for another list. Uh, what I probably will not do is fill this up with art. But if I don't need another list here, I might. Maybe I'll add a little calendar or something. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So that's going to stay open for now. We're going to test this out and see how this layout works for me and if it's going to be a helpful layout in the month of April. Next week is Easter, I know, so a lot of you probably won't be able to be here, but if you are, um, I will be setting up my California. That's the other thing I have to do this week that I didn't write down on here. Whoops. Brainstorm. Brainstorm. Goodbye. CA spread. Because I want to have it done so that I can set the whole thing up and then start filling it in over the next couple of months. Like, we're not going to not come back to California. Jesse's going to have to make trips back here on the semi-regular. But, and I still have a sister here and some other family. But there's a lot of things. I've lived here for 41 years. I've lived in California my whole life. There's a lot of places that I'm going to miss. So I'd like to get some of them in here, both for me and for the kids and Jesse. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Let me know in the comments below something that you've got going on this week. I'd love to hear. And what's your favorite grilled cheese sandwich? Like, If you're going to make a grilled cheese sandwich, what's your favorite way to make it? Because that's apparently we're all hungry for now. Will I be getting one of the 100 GSM scribbles that matters? I'm not sure. I might order one just to test it out. I didn't even realize they came out now because I'm super out of the loop. Anyway, let me know about your grilled cheese sandwich in the comments below. Like this video on your way out the door. And until next time, friends, I will see you 